So two wins at home, back-to-back -back wins at home, two wins out of three in the league. Just what's the mood like in the, in the camp? Good. The lads, are, the lads have all got a smile on their face today. Some, some sore bodies, but that's to be expected with the schedule we've had over the last 10 to 12 days. Looking forward to the weekend, everyone is. Um, we've trained lightly today because I felt that, especially with the extra minutes we keep playing in games, it's imperative that what we do is we educate the players more so in the, probably on the finer points of the games and making sure that we use the classroom here. And we've done that. But as you, as you can imagine, coming off of a positive result on Tuesday night, Everyone's been happy today. I think they all had a nice day off yesterday. The weather was nice as well. So, no, we're back at it today and we've worked the players that needed to very hard and those that needed maybe slightly less have also done um, some good work today. So, lots of individual meetings today, helping uh, individuals with aspects of their game that I feel are important. So, yeah, the staff have, have most definitely worked hard today, but it's, it's a good training ground to be at at the moment. However, I'm acutely aware that <laughs> In two days' time, we've got another game of football against a really good team. You said a few sore bodies. Anything more than that? Everyone come through on Tuesday night, all right? When? So I'm led to believe. Uh, I don't think that will change. Everybody was on the grass today that needed to be, other than a couple of injuries. So, But we already knew about those, so there isn't anything new. So, look, the players, I think, are looking forward to having a free week next week, but also aware that, first and foremost, we've got to work really hard on Saturday. And, and that's already started the work towards that game. What about Marco House's face after Tuesday night? Well, I didn't realise, but it was actually Shay that, that managed to <laughs> study more near him. Um, his nose is slightly out of place. He's got a nice cut on there and a few stitches, but he'll be fine for the weekend. That's good then. And speaking about Shay, obviously good to see him back starting and getting a goal as well. Great. I think when, when I came in, obviously I hadn't uh, seen him play for Shrewsbury but I had watched him many times for Oxford actually uh, because my family were all Oxford fans so yeah no he's a big plus for us I think you saw his leadership qualities as well so it wasn't just what he did on the ball it wasn't the headers that he won it was more his organisation and being a leader and a natural leader the way he is I think he's going to thrive on the responsibility he's being given but it's also he's also aware that he has to do his job for the team and he did that really well Listen, he hasn't had any exposure to football for three or four months, so he was a little bit stiff today, to say the least. But uh, you know, if selected, he'll be ready to play at the weekend. And obviously, Tom Flanagan, he missed out on Tuesday night, didn't start. Is it good to have that competition, especially in the back line, if you've such strong defenders you've got? I think it is good. I also understand how disappointing it is for players, especially Tom, when they're not in the team. And I do understand that and I sympathise. But I also think, having been in that position myself, it's the way in which you handle those decisions. And his behaviour has been really good. Obviously, he's extremely disappointed not to be in the team. But it, won't, it will never be about one person. It will never be about one player. It will always be about the team and the squad. And I think everybody is aware of that. So I know that, you know, as and when Tom gets back in the team, he'll most definitely perform well. George Nurse, I believe, has had his surgery. How's he doing? It's OK. It was Tuesday, I think, his surgery, so um, it'll be a difficult one for George and Hal because he's back on that road to recovery. He'll be at home, he'll be icing. Uh, I think he's, he's due to come up here tomorrow, as far as I'm aware, so it'll be good to see him. But I know that he'll get the support of all of the staff, he'll get the support of the medical um, department, but he's also got great support from the players, and that, that's massively, hugely important. They all understand what he's been through, especially Dan having been through that injury so um, previously. So it's going to be a tough one for George. <laughs> I understand that, but we will be here to support him and look, and look forward to, to when he gets fit because he was doing really well up to that point. And especially doing it so quickly after the first one, that must have just been a, a bigger a blow to him as well, just thinking I'm coming back and, and then to get it taken away again. Yeah, very difficult. When you've, when you've worked as hard as he has, and he, day one of pre-season, he started with us. He pushed his body and he pushed himself to the limits and he was in really good position. I thought his football was, was of high quality and a high standard. Physically he was doing really well. The metrics that he was hitting we were quite surprised at. So, you know, from a selfish point of view, obviously, you know, I'm distraught that we've lost George because he would have been a key member of our team and a key member of the squad. But, you know, that's changed recruitment ever so slightly, so we've had to make sure that Mal comes in 
and Joe Anderson I think gives us good balance as well. But George, one thing I do know is that when he does get back fit, he'll be raring to go and, and we'll give him everything and all the support he needs. And the question you'll be expecting, do you think Max Matter will be available for Saturday? No, I don't think so at the moment. We've not heard anything, so I'm assuming that nothing's going to change unless we get an email or something tomorrow to say that he's available to play. I'm talking about Saturday, obviously Lincoln coming up, just your thoughts ahead of that game? And another yeah. game at home as well. Yeah, I think Mark's had a really um, had a really fantastic season with them last year, considering it was his first season at the club. And they've recruited extremely well. They've got some really talented footballers. I think I like the way they want to play. I like the way they want to press. It will be a very difficult test for us. I look forward to it. It'll be a good opportunity for our players to see if we can go back to back with positive performances. We haven't done that, if you like this season we did okay we did quite well at Leeds but the result didn't go for us and then obviously we got beat at Stevenage so the challenge to the players now is can we follow up the result that we got on Tuesday night with a good performance on on Saturday but make no mistakes I'm aware of how difficult the game will be and just how much of a good football team Lincoln are they've got a really um, you know really good manager in charge as well